guys hope you all are doing well in this video i'm going to show you how to make a simple line graph in my previous video i showed you how to make a simple bar graph and how to interpret a given data in two different ways so for a line graph here is a simple form of data that is the temperature range of a specific area for a specific day this is the temperature range versus time so time is unequally distributed here that is 6 10 2 and 6 again let's make a line graph by using simple excel line graph select the data insert go to more column charts select line graph select the first one and this is what you got this one so now if you think that you can change the values on y axis and you can change the units on y axis so let's see double tick it if it's not happening just like me go to chart options horizontal axis and then select the axis options this one you can see that there is no bound there is no option for boundaries and for units so we can do if we go into number you can simply you can simply change the format change the category so if we select the time now it is 12 am 12 am 12 am 12 as there are no boundaries and no units Or no uh, minor and major differences we can do it just delete it so as you see we can't make a line graph by using simple line graph in Excel directly now uh, try to make it some other way there is another way to make a line graph by using XY scatter XY scatter is not actually a line graph but that looks like a line graph here it is here it is Oh, sorry you can put data in this format you have to do like this select this and more column charts xy scatter and select the second option that is scatter with smooth lines and markers okay now you, we have got something something good than the previous one now double click this one go to the access options as you can see that there are options for bounds for units and for numbers as well so what are these bounds and units so bounds mean from where we are gonna start and from where we can we are gonna end a range of data on y axis so now you need a simple but complex mathematical uh, calculation to calculate what to write in minimum and what to write in maximum. Let's do that. Yes. Here is the time format. 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. For every after midnight you have to add 1. For every after midnight you have to add 1. And for every single hour, the value is 0 .0, 0 0.04167. So, for 12, it is 1. For 1, it is 1 plus 0 0.04167. And for 6, it is 0 0.04167 multiplied by 6 plus 1. I don't know if you're getting me or not. So... multiplied by 6 minus 1 ok now mark what you need here it is 
Mirror in Dancer Fairy. So you need a 6 and a 2 here. And a 6 and a 10 here. So this is unequal distribution of data. This is not bilaterally distributed. Simply. For uh, 6 am, you need to calculate it. You will calculate it in such a way that you will add 1 plus... 0 0.04177 multiplied by 6 and you will get the answer. These are the answers. 46 am, 1.254, 2 am you got this one, for uh, sorry for 10 am you got this one for 2 pm and for 6 pm. So this is the minor and this is the major value. How we got this value? 1 divided by 24 like 1 hour in 24 hours 1 by 24 gives us the value of 0 0.04167 so we have to multiply this value with the number of hours and we have to add 1 plus for am and we have to minus 1 for pm simply you got these values now put these values into your excel so what we have for minimum we have for minimum minus point zero point seven four zero point seven four nine zero point seven five numbers and for maximum we have one point two five yes here Starting from 6 a.m. ends on 6 p.m. Now we have to select the units and what is the major and minor difference. So for again I have to explain here. Okay. If you look at this, we have four equal parts. If we bilaterally distribute this, we have four equal parts. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and out of 1 each part will get 0 0.25 so 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and 0.25 so this is what we can do and for every hour as I already told you the value is 0 0.04167 ok so if we uh, we have one value of 10 and one value of 6 and one value of 2 and one value of 6 this is unequal distribution of data so unequal distribution of data cannot be added in this way again so if the values were uh, like 12 6 12 6 in that in that case we can put 0.25 here look 12 6 12 6 so again what we find we found that we cannot add an unequally distributed data so we have the data like we have the value of 10 am in here but it's not written on y axis because this doesn't give like this doesn't justify the equal distribution if we write 10 am here so we can't write again if you if you have a data with equal distribution on y axis you can make a graph like this one you can change these like uh, you can change the unit value you can change the category into your desired category like for number you can select it is custom here you can select any date time whatever percentage and for equal distribution of time you can calculate it by using this formula of 0 0.04167 for every hour and you have to add 1 plus for am and 1 minus 4 p.